What's up, everybody? How you guys doing today? It's Ick and Mel. I want to get right to the point so you can get to this interview because that's why I know you're here. Thanks, Joe, for coming on. Uh, Darian's father actually came on, reached out to me, and uh, we did an interview. We spoke about so many things. You're going to have to watch from front to end to get all the details. Crazy stuff, interesting stuff. Uh, and this is only the second interview I've ever done on YouTube, so feel free to critique me on how I can improve next time. And I just also want to say that my objective here was not to uh, attack Joe or prove him wrong or anything like that. I just wanted them to share their side of the story, the father, so we can hear something about uh, Darian's side. And uh, it just it wouldn't make any sense for me to come out crazy. Not that that's what, what I wanted to do anyway, but why would I want to shut somebody down and not let them speak their side of the story, which is important, I think, when you're looking at something whole, right, which is still not whole. So let me know your thoughts. I appreciate you guys' support. And uh, wait, 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 wait. Just one more thing. Think about this. I just had this crazy thought. Whether Whatever side you're on, right, whatever this whole thing is, right, at least I see some of these parents standing up Whoever's right, whoever's wrong. I still don't see Malaya's biological father. How you doing, man? Thank you for joining me. I appreciate it. Uh, hey. I want to start with who are you? Well, my name is Joe Vince uh, Sr. I'm Darion Vince's father. Okay. And how old are you, if you don't mind saying? I'm 43. Okay. I saw your pictures on Facebook, and I was like, you look so young. That's one of the reasons I didn't believe you. I was like, damn. Like, how are you the father? You look so young. Yeah, I had him when I was 16. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, and I had his brother when I was 17. They, like, nine months apart. Okay. Uh, the same thing. <laughs> I was going to ask you, why'd you, choose me? why'd you choose me? I was surprised when I saw your email and you reached out to me. I was like, wow, I didn't believe you for a while, you know? Okay, I chose you because, you know, you looking at both sides of the coin and you're not just believing her story, you know? You see his holes in her story, so you're asking more questions than other people. So I chose to come on your platform first. Oh, thank you, man. I really appreciate that and I appreciate your time. Um... I mean, you, you can't, you really wanted to tell, I guess, maybe, or point out the lies of Brittany or, or tell, talk about your son, because everybody's been wondering about him. I know he hasn't had a chance to speak. Uh, you know, I have a couple of questions. I actually asked some people in the community tab, too, um, some questions. I, and I know this is a legal case, so if anything that's pertaining to the case that you don't feel comfortable, you know, you just let me know. You let the people know. Obviously, we understand that. All right. So how did this all start? I mean, like, first of all, do you believe your son is innocent? Yeah, I believe my son is innocent, and I believe his story. You know, okay. it's a lot of a lot of kids coming up missing out there in Texas. So you yeah, know, there's like a I huge know the thing. Sound, I know the story sound far fetched, but you know, I sent you all the uh, pictures of him getting cut up and all of that stuff. So I, I really believe like either she got something to do with it, or, like he been set up in some type of way, but. I know he didn't do nothing to her because he loves her. You know, he's been taking care of her since she was one years old. Right. And he's, like, been the sole provider. Like, that girl, Brittany, like, she, uh, you know what I'm saying? She ain't no type of mother. Like, he's been the one taking care of the kids the whole time. Wow. Like, he, he washes. He does the, yeah. uh, you know what I'm saying? He cleans. He cooks. He's the one who works and all of that. You know what I'm saying? Wow. I want yeah. to ask you well how long have they been together like do you know how long they were dating in a relationship um, three and a half years three and a half years wow okay so yeah. were they together when the whole cps thing happened because i know the mother and the biological father got called to cps but what were, were um... yeah they were together doing the cps thing oh but were they but, they living but together or no people, nobody didn't tell people that when the kids got taken away they went to darion's mother Really? Darian, yeah, Darion mother had the kids, all three of the kids, for six months before they went back to the family, because her family wouldn't step up to even get the kids. So let me ask you this, okay? At the time the CPS thing happened, uh, Darion he didn't have custody of Malaya, right? That was the Brittany and Craig. No, but, but Darion, and Darion and Brittany were staying together at the time with her mother. Oh, okay. So when the child fell, when Malaya fell, whose home was it in? It was in her mother's home. 
with Darion and the Britney stayed with her mother. With uh, oh, Maria, with so the three of them mom. were staying in that home together. So Britney, yeah. Darion, and Britney's mother. Yes. Okay, and that's what happened. Okay. Yeah. Um, the whole thing with uh, I mean, okay, let's talk about the whole. She made a lot of allegations that came out, which to me was very suspicious. That like she waited like a week or something if she's so concerned about her daughter. Why wait six, seven days to come out with this whole, the abuse allegations, the shower stuff, the things where he would take her to daycare and then bring her back home and do things and like all that kind of stuff. Like, what do you think about that? What do you have to say about that? First of all, he has no way to be able to take her to daycare and come back home because he works nine to five. Mm. (laughs) So how is he going to come home when he works a nine to five job? Did she work at all, Brittany? He just got her to start working. Like, she okay. didn't work for the whole three years they've been together. He's wow. been the one. Yeah, because I saw an interview, one of the videos that they, the last video, where she mentions that she was home all the time. So it kind of struck me as a surprise that if she's home all the time, you know, if these things are really happening, she just let it slide? You know, like, she's yeah, the one that's home all the time? Things, none of those things are true about him. Like I said, he works from nine to five. So how he, is he able to take a child back home when he has to be at work, you know the other thing. The other thing about daycare, because I have a daughter too, and I take her to daycare and stuff. Like if my daughter misses a day or a couple of days, you know these people start calling. Um, Plus, CPS is involved in in their life, so if they miss any type of days, CPS is going to be on it because the case is still was ongoing. You know right, what I'm saying? Right. And she had previous problems with CPS before Darion even came into the picture. Mm. Like we've been warning Darion about this girl. We've been trying to get him away from her. Is but there... he didn't listen because he didn't want to leave the kids with her. Mm. Like Is there said, other... he's, been sole, he's been a sole provider the whole time. Like he loved those kids. Okay. The CPS thing, because I saw, I mean, there's very little information, but. I saw one, I think that was from 2018. There, was there more things that have happened previously, you're saying? Or is that the only thing? Yeah, be- previous, before he was even involved with her. Wow. Wow. Okay. Okay. Um, have it's you ever met? Several, it's, it's been several instances where um, people actually have saw her punch the kid and stuff like that. Really? Yeah. So, Darion, he, he's not no violent type of person. That's what I'm saying. Like, he has... No violent past at all. He has four nieces, you know, mm. harm a child ever, like ever. He's just being straight railroaded, like. And the and son he has. Story, her story is just not even matching up. Like, why would you leave your child at home with him if he's doing all of these things? That doesn't make sense, right? Uh, that's, that's and, that's and they has a CPS case open, so. Don't you think CPS has already looked into all of those things before they even sent the child back home with them? Right. You know well, I'm that's saying? what I thought was strange. And a lot of people were asking that. Like, why would CPS send that child back home after the previous things that have happened? Right. Exactly, man. It's have just you... like they're trying to set him up. I don't know what's going on, but it's right. it's not good. Like, I feel like they're trying to set my son up, really. Have you ever met because Malia? He... Yes, I have. Oh, okay. Okay. What kind of how how was she? What kind of like? Is there this anything? a sweet and this is a sweet innocent girl, you know. Mm-hmm. Was she always mother. special needs? Like was she born special needs? Do you know or? Um, I know she had some type some type of problems that Darion was working on. You know, oh, like okay. he's actually the one who got them to start talking and stuff like that because mm-hmm. when he came in the picture, they wasn't even talking or nothing. Okay. All right. Like he really was working with them, trying to get them, you know, up to levels of where they supposed to be as young kids you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. one of the things that people like thought was kind of like strange of uh darion you know he said he was unconscious for 24 hours uh you know do you believe that do you think he was unconscious he didn't say he didn't say he was unconscious for 24 hours he said he was going in and out of conscious. Uh, in and out of conscious that's true okay. yeah they kept beating they, they was beating on them you know what i'm saying okay did you hear of that thing, one of the stories I covered, where they said that, you know, Darian said, I think it's, it was reported. Because, you know, let me tell you this before I get into that. One of the most, this is one of the most confusing stories I've ever covered because usually I go cover a story and I could look at three or four articles and most of the information is the same. This story 
Like every single article had different bits of information. They had the name wrong, the spelling wrong, and, and the ages wrong, and like different. It was the craziest thing I've ever dealt with before. Confusing. Yeah, even with me, it was like, "How are you, Darian Dad? If you're not spelling this name right, yeah, like, oh, yeah." I was so confused about that. And Orby is crazy, man. It, it changes like every five days. Yeah, I was gonna ask you. Did you hear about the thing where they said that he was dropped off in that same vehicle that he was that was stolen? No, I haven't heard about that. Oh, okay, there was. I heard something about like there was some surveillance. The the police said this. Nobody's seen it or anything, but that supposedly he was dropped off in that same vehicle. So no, the only okay. reason why Darion was arrested was because the media was so heavy on my son's house, my other son's house, that he decided to take his kids and his wife back to St. Louis because we, mm. you know, they're from St. Louis. Right. Yeah, I noticed that. Okay. My son Joe Jr. decided to take his wife and his kids back to St. Louis. When he got on the highway, he got pulled over by Texas Highway Patrol. Right. Mm -hmm. Put. Uh, put guns up to him and had him get out the car, uh, search the car with, and see it was Malia and, or Darion was in the car. They thought actually thought Darion was trying to leave town. His name is Joe too, right? Your your other son? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah. They thought Darion was trying to leave town. Mm. So when they when they saw Darion was not in the car, they went back to the house and arrested him because they said he was a flight risk. Right. Right. I heard about that. So that's why he was arrested. Mm. And then they came up with this charge of about some something about a corpse or something like that. Right, because they don't have um they don't have a body or anything like that. Um, right, and then the blood that they said they found in right. the house was actually, if you look at the report, it says related to Malia because it's her brother's blood from his toothbrush. Okay, because I thought they said there was like hall, blood in the hallway, blood in the bathroom. No, it says on. blood. It, they said they found traces of blood that's related to Malia. Okay, because I thought too, like they were saying that like he was trying. They, they saw evidence of like cleaning, trying to clean the blood, but no. You know, they that. said they saw they saw traces of blood related to Malia, okay. which which was blood on a teddy bear from her brother and blood on a toothbrush. Okay, so just to clear it up too, just to go back one more time, the whole you know the allegations that they made about the abuse. The beatings, um, the shower thing, and all that stuff. Every has never hit those kids at okay. all. Like he's not an abusive guy. If you okay. look, he doesn't. He doesn't even have a record at all. Okay. You know what I'm saying? He he's not that type of person at all. I want to ask just, you, what was up with the whole thing too? Where she, you know, at the end she throws in the gay pictures that he was sending to a guy and that caused him she got she she got upset and this is one of the stories they're using too that he went into a rage and got upset that she found that out or whatever no he's not gay at all man okay. <laughs> that's crazy <laughs> it's just like and then it's like the guy that she with is like he's making up the story and you know what i'm saying oh the, the cornell the, yeah, the the guy guy, yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> like he just threw himself in the, you know what I'm yeah, saying, yeah. in the picture. He's making up the story, and you know what I'm saying, she just going with it. Right. Like right. he never, she never found no pictures of Darion with no guy, nothing like that. She saw some texts with him with a girl. Mm -hmm. Okay. And she got mad. Mm -hmm. But it's never, he's never been gay or nothing like that, man. Okay. That, that, that was one of the craziest things that yeah. I heard. I mean, not like, that that I stuff matters, but. I mean, it does pertain to the story. That's what she was claiming. Yeah. So I was like, that's kind of like, I was surprised about that. Um, and But that's the reason why she broke up with him. Not because she claimed he was molesting her baby. Come on now. Right. Be for real. Well, the strange thing is that she like, said it was like. All stuff is not true, man. She said it was happening for months. So I just, I couldn't wrap my mind around it. That's why I was kind of going hard on her. Like, how as a mother can you see this stuff for months and just. Now that supposedly how's there's gay stuff, how's it, how's it happening for months when the kids are with my with my baby's mother? Mm. They just not getting the kids back. Right, that's true. Yeah, yeah, that's true. They, I think they got the kids back from what I read. If it's correct, in February, from what I read. Right, Darion fought hard to get those kids because really? they her family didn't want to step up for the kids. Like he had his mm. mother go get those kids, you know, and. Two of the kids wasn't even his. You know what I'm saying? Oh, wait. What two kids? Because I know they have, 
We're they have three kids. One is Darion's kid. Okay. The the youngest one is Darion's. The okay. older two are not his children. And they belong to Brittany? They belong to Brittany and her baby's father. Okay, okay. Uh, but okay. all of them went to my baby's mother's house for six months. Okay, okay. I did hear something like that. I want to yeah. ask you, too. I'm kind of curious. Do you know anything about the biological father? Anything, his involvement? Did he ever... Do you, I don't mean, I don't know if you know. Like, did he ever hit Malia before? Or, like, his involvement? Or, there were some allegations, too, that he tried to yeah, see her. Yeah, I heard, I, I heard allegations about him um, through Darion that you know, that he was abusive to the kids or whatever. Mm. But I know he do crazy stuff like he only get one kid at a time and all mm. of this crazy stuff, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, Darion had those kids most of the time. He's the one who took care of the kids. Right, right. Like, he, he's the responsible one out of all of this. It's kind of surprising to me, too. Like, I understand the biological father. They're saying he's grieving and stuff, but, like, he's been so quiet. He hasn't been saying anything. And I understand grieving, but if your daughter's missing and all that stuff, too, I would think that you would want to go on TV, do something, make a plea or something. You know, I haven't seen anything. He's just quiet. Um, yeah. So it's kind of strange to me. It's just real. This The whole thing is real strange how he just was, uh, you know, pulled, like, he pulled over and, People just jumped on him and everything. Yeah. Like, I just feel like they set him up some type of way. Really? Okay. And then I got I got messages uh, about like, how they have insurance on Malia and all of mm. this stuff. That's something I didn't even think about. Life insurance yeah. you're talking about, right? Like, life insurance. Yeah. Mm. And um, then she's talking like Malia's already gone. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. She's talking like was and and stuff like that like past tense Did like you, i had talk, i had actually talked to her the day before she went on the media okay. and she was just like so nonchalant about everything i'm like this girl has something to do with this and i'm wondering like why aren't the police even investigating her like right that happens that sometimes in cases sense. sometimes like, cases cops they they find they they suspect somebody and they really lock on to them and they get like um, tunnel vision, but they mm-hmm. stop investigating and looking at everybody else. You know that's happened. Did you hear? Oh well, let me ask you this: Did you see the picture of Darion walking out of the apartment with like the laundry basket and the garbage bag? And what do you think about that? He was actually doing laundry. <laughs> okay, all right. He does the laundry. No, okay. he cleans that. He cleans the house. He cooks. He takes the kids to daycare. He does all of those things. Okay. All right. Did you hear about that they found a laundry... Well, I mean, if if we're going to go with the story, because they found supposedly a laundry basket in the trunk and a gas can. But if we're to follow Darion's story, that would happen. I guess he could say that whoever it was that took the car did whatever they did, I guess. Right? Yeah, like, of course. Okay. Um. So, I already asked you. You believe your son's innocent. Uh, yeah. Do you believe he had any involvement with the disappearance or anything? Or no, I don't think I don't think he has nothing. To, he loved those kids too much. He doesn't have nothing to do with the disappearance. I believe his story. Okay. The, as crazy as the story sounds, I believe him. Like it's too crazy not to be true. Okay. It's I'll... just like the me- the media just took the story and just twisted it all up. You know what I'm saying? To where the whole world like just all automatically believe he's guilty and that's not cool you know what i'm saying because we in america you're supposed to be proven innocent until i mean that's innocent true. until you're proven guilty and i was in that in that thing too i really i mean I, I have been to be honest with you but it's really interesting to hear the other side because we haven't heard that and i'm looking at the pictures that you sent me do you know when the pictures were taken like were they taken the day of i mean or i guess the day after that was, that was taken that was taken when at the hospital at the hospital yeah. Okay. By Brittany. Okay. This doesn't look like it was at the hospital, though. Or maybe they was taken after they left, you know what I'm saying? But okay. they was taken the day. You see, he got stitches and everything. Yeah, I saw the stitches. You see that? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, let me ask. Um, so... How was it, they hit him on the head or, or like when he was going in and out of consciousness? I don't know if you know the story. And I hear that supposedly too when I saw the 
the, the brother your son at the he visited Darian in jail supposedly mm-hmm. I think he has another story or, or more clarification or something you know obviously I guess he can't speak on it but I mean as far as you know he I guess he was hit on the head was he gun butted or no nah, he was his head was rammed into the car oh okay 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 yeah I see I mean he has cuts cuts on his leg uh, cuts on his other leg, forehead. All right, and let me see here, because there were some questions people were asking. If we're able to answer any of them, um, somebody said, "What I?" And then, like she was saying, she was going out of town to visit visit her uh, for oh, her dad's funeral. Yeah, right. What's up you know, with that? Man, she hadn't seen her dad in ten, ten to twelve years. Really? Like she barely knew her dad. So do you believe now, she I don't was... even know if she even went out of town. Like, do they have photos of, and pictures of her leaving the uh, the airport and stuff like that? There was one media organization, I forgot their name. They said supposedly they called the funeral home and that she was there and that they checked flights. But I have another friend of mine, a YouTuber, that she said she looked into it. And, like, really nothing adds up about that story. And she had a couple different dates from April to the 30th. I think about. I know she went out of town around the 11th of April. Yeah, I heard that. My family, my family went down there to visit Darian, and she was gone out of town. Okay. And my family was down there, and they visited him and the kids and stuff like that. Yeah, I wish there was some was sort out of, of town. And then she came back. She came back in town, and she supposedly left again. Hmm. What do you think I about? I actually had talked to Darion. He said he was supposed to be going to pick her up from the airport. Okay. What, yeah. do you, what do you think about the picture that the police posted, where you see Darian walking in and, and Malia behind, and they said that's the last time she was seen, April thirtieth. She never seen walking back out. Oh, I can't hear you talking. It's like muted. Oh, there we go. Still can't hear you. Yeah, I haven't seen that picture. Okay, you haven't seen that picture. Okay. You sound very low right now, like muffled. There we go. Oh, much better. Perfect. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, much better. Okay, so you haven't yeah, seen that I picture. Have, I, haven't seen, I haven't seen the picture. Okay, all right. Um, let me see. But I, had, I saw some stuff about, like, the, the neighbors were supposed to have been filming him or something like that. Yeah, like, yeah. What was, what was up with that? Like, I don't understand that. Supposedly, I guess there was surveillance or something, and the last time they saw her walk in was April 30th, this is what was reported. With... Why are they surveillancing him, then? Like, what's that about? Your audio is still kind of muff. Are you covering the microphone? Or something? No. Okay, there we go. Covering... Perfect. Perfect. Yeah, I think you were covering it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, okay. Then... So, yeah, they said supposedly that was the last time that she was seen walking in, and she never walked back out. You know, And one of the questions that a lot of people want to know you might but, not, you might not know was Brittany home that day the April thirtieth was she all back of the, all of that all of that video is like given from Brittany and that guy like right. that video could have been tampered with or anything well it wasn't even any video released it was just like two screenshots and that was it right so we exactly. have no idea what's on there exactly so mm-hmm. anything and that's released by like that's another thing like the police are letting them lead their investigation like right. what's up with that. Okay. How are they coming up with all of this evidence, but the cops not coming up with no evidence? Right, right. And then, and then Brittany told my son like the night, like, okay, she said she came home from the airport, right? And Darion, she came to the airport and Darion wasn't there. Right. She waited all, she waited all the way to eight o'clock in the morning to come to my other son's house to tell him that Darion was missing. Exactly. That was one of the questions. I'm so glad you brought that up. A lot of people were asking that. That makes no sense either. How Right, and then my family was the one who contacted police about the missing uh missing persons. They're the ones who filed the missing person. Okay. And we kept trying to get the police to file an Amber Alert, but they wouldn't do it. They took forever to do that. Okay. Um was the brother uh joe did he live around them too or joe has his own place okay um people people were asking was he involved like did he like with the kids and stuff and the family or not really or yeah i mean joe's involved with his brother every day they love each other you know okay okay 
they came they went down there with their mom you know what i'm saying to leave st louis because you know it's real violent here so they went down there okay yeah so when she came to the house and said that Darion was missing of course joe was joe was worried and he called the police you know she didn't call the police he called the police that's pretty crazy right and I'm looking at the questions that a lot of people were asking. We've been trying to get Darion away from Brittany. Oh, you because, have? Yes, because all all the stuff that's going on with her, she just ain't she ain't right. You know what I'm saying? She's right. not right, dude. And now he's, like, caught up in this whirlwind of craziness and Malaya's missing and everything. It's just crazy, man. Yeah. And it, I feel like they're trying to pin something on him. And you pretty much answered. Like, I have a list of questions that people were asking, but I think you kind of touched almost everything that people were asking about i mean some somebody asked about the date of the funeral but that's something that's just hasn't been clear you're not sure yourself i'm not sure the news media organizations don't know i've heard different stuff i wish that was something they could confirm yeah and it's just, it's just a crazy thing man you know what i'm saying we got malia still missing and darion's yeah. in jail yeah you know what i'm saying and she's just walking around just making stories up yeah and like i said she and then she told my son like the day the night of like i'm about to get a lifetime movie off of this wow wait the night yeah. of wait, which night like the night the night, the night that they, they were looking for darion the day uh, what that was, uh saturday, right, right. saturday they were looking for him yeah she's telling she gonna get a lifetime movie what's up with you know what i'm saying or maybe that's why she's all over the news now like all over the different uh who knows it don't seem like she worried about Malia too much to me. Right. She ain't even, she can't even cry. Like, come on, man. That was one of the criticisms that I've heard some people say about the crying thing. The The thing, too, one of the last interviews I saw, I think she did a new interview, but one of the last ones I saw was that um, she was about to talk about the CPS stuff and that mm-hmm. activist guy cut her off. He's like, no, no, no. Like, he's yeah, like, he, t- he tapped her. Yeah, yeah, yeah like, yeah. don't talk about it. Yeah, I thought that was kind of interesting. I think there's a lot that all of us don't know about yeah, this story. And, Especially um, about my son, man, because it's just like that he's portrayed to be this crazy monster when it's like he's nothing like that. He's the most gentle, loving person ever. Like I said, really? he stayed in that relationship because he didn't want those kids to even be left with her. Mm. Wow. And so, he definitely and he definitely fought for them to get back into custody. Like I said, they went with his mother. They didn't go with Britney's family at all. They went with my baby's mom. Mm. And Darion was the sole provider during that time also. Wow. Giving him giving uh, my baby mom money and all of that, taking care of the kids going to um, visit them and stuff like that. Like, she wouldn't even go visit them. Wow. So he was the yeah. one working most of the time. He all took of care the of time. He <laughs> dropped her off at daycare, did all this yeah. stuff. Wow. Not, Malia, not only Malia, but her other, her brother and his son, too. Oh, yeah. So they were all in the house. Yeah. And the house was Malia's mother, right? It was Malia's mother and Darian. Oh, both mothers in the house? Uh, it was Malia, Malia's mother. Oh, I'm sorry. Said, sorry. Yeah, you ahead. said, now what? It's Malia's mother. Uh, Ma- I'm sorry. Yeah, Brittany, uh, Darion, Brittany's mother, and the kids, right? Like, it's, there's one. Yeah, that was at, that was at first. But then okay. when they got when they got the kids back, Darion and Brittany got their own place. Oh, okay. So this last, the last place they were at before she went missing, this was their own place. Yes. Oh, okay, that's they good. That's good to clarify place. too. Okay, that's good to know. They was just getting, they was just getting back on their feet. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I appreciate that, man. So, so Darian, um, is there anything else you want people to know about him? I mean, I mean, he's a family guy. You're saying. Yeah, he's just a family guy, you know, mm-hmm. and he's a good person. Like, don't believe what you see on the media. Do, like, do some research and don't think that he's guilty because you hear all of these things that people are saying about him. You know what I'm saying? And right. the story gets twisted every time it come out. Like, you don't you don't know what happened, so don't really just judge him like that. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. He's not that, he's not that type of person to molest no kid at all. 
okay. or kill a kid. He's not that type of person at all. He doesn't have a criminal background. He doesn't have a violent bone in his body. Okay. He's from one of the craziest cities in America, St. Louis, Missouri, and mm. he doesn't have a criminal record. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So he like I just want people to know that he he innocent and we we here for him and we here for Malia. And we definitely here for her. Yeah, I mean that's the most important thing too. I mean at the at the I mean one of the most important things and then everything else kind of has to fall in place is that where is this little girl? You know, where right. is she gone? As you mentioned, there are a lot of kids missing. missing in, um, yeah, Texas. I want you to look into that. Like, look at yeah. all of the kids that's been snatched up around that area. I saw, maybe that's something I can cover related to this topic, too, that I saw it was like 50 plus kids or something. There was like pictures and all that stuff I saw them talking about. A bunch of kids missing. Yeah, it's not, it's not far-fetched that someone kidnapped her. It's not mm. far-fetched. You know what I'm saying? Okay. And all of these circumstances, all of this stuff is just circumstantial, circumstantial evidence. Like, yeah, so but far like that's what it is. And all, like the blood that they found was her brother's blood. That's why I say it's related to Malia. Mm. It's not her blood. So it's not her blood at all. You're saying, or no, it's not her blood. It's it. That's why I says they found traces of blood related to Malia. Okay, because it's her brother's. It's like the DEA, the DA was really pressured to get something going on this case because of the publicity. Right, on it. So, right. That's what happens. So yeah. they, twist, they twist in all type of stories. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I thought, yeah, I read one article. They need, I... more, they need to look into more of what he was saying. Like, look into that. Like, thought... they didn't put out Amber Alert or nothing. Yeah. They, I... waited, they waited like a whole day. For the Amber Alert. Yeah. So when was, so you said... Uh, your family actually alerted the police first to her missing? Yes. Right? And then when you guys alerted her, it took them 24 hours to actually put the Amber Alert out. Yes. Okay. I can believe that. I've heard a lot of stories about that. You know, sometimes missing persons, cops don't really sometimes want to take action or they really want to, like, push you for 24 hours, even though you really don't have to wait, but they really, they don't want to do things. So I totally believe right. that. Right. Because we knew Darion wouldn't just leave her at no airport. Mm. He does everything for that family. Like he is the responsible one. That's what I'm trying to say. He like, okay. He's not the type of person that's gonna leave nobody at the airport. He's not the type of person that's gonna harm a child at all. Like, right. Just, I mean, if we're looking at the history and, and and the facts here, right? Like, if we're looking at, I mean, there's a lot of there is some circumstantial stuff. There's things that, I mean, there's a lot of misleading information, but the facts are, too, is that Brittany's the one that had that history of whatever happened to Malia. Her name's on those documents, those court documents, you know, and the kids were taken away from her and not her not Darian, and the but the has, baby daddy. Her, right, right. Yeah, her and the baby daddy has the CPS right, history, right. not Darian. That's Darian, like I said, he was the one who fought to get the kids back out of CPS and moved in with my baby's mom. Not her family. Okay. Not her her baby dad didn't step up to try to get the kids. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Have any I wanna ask you, have any outlets like media people have they reached out to you? Like, hey, can we get his side of the story or the family or anything like that? Or No, no, not really, mm-hmm. not yet. Because like I said, I'm in St. Louis, so Okay, okay. Um you're my first you're my first media outlet. I'm gonna be doing more Yeah, more yeah, you media should for sure. Media. You know what I'm saying? I, yeah. I saw that you was not just biased on the story, that you didn't just believe what she was saying and you was questioning her motives. So I decided to go with you first. Uh, thanks. I appreciate that. And it, it's true, like you're saying, man, a lot of times, too, with this, this, this media stuff and all that, it becomes like a the court of public opinion, you know? And mm-hmm. uh, then what happens is when these people go to court and they have to get a jury, it's really hard to find an unbiased jury. Because, I mean, not even just us YouTubers and people like that, but even the media and there's so many mixed different stories. People already have a formed opinion. And, and when you're in the jury and in court, you're supposed to be unbiased. So this is going to be a tough case, too, for, um, right. you know, for, for your son. Uh, you know, they're going to have to find an unbiased jury. They might even have to move it somewhere else. Um, and, then, and then the whole thing about that, his bond was a million dollars. And they right. lowered it to 45000 mm-hmm. You mm-hmm. think if they had any type of evidence, they would have lowered his bond that low? Mm. Right. 
that means they that means they don't have they just was trying to stick anybody with this case instead of looking into what he said happened. I want to ask you one thing too that came to my head as I heard these allegations too and all these people reporting was that supposedly Vince they were saying um, and I'm talking about Darren that they said that he used to work a post route and that he mentioned to the mother-in-law which would be the other side of the family I guess um, that if he was to get rid of a body he would do it in one of these remote areas you ever heard of that? I never heard that. Okay. And he never worked no post route. He worked at the post office for three days in the mail room. <laughs> oh, really? So he wasn't like yeah. on a route going to these different places to like No, he worked at the he worked in the mail room for like three days through a temp service. Wow. <laughs> wow. That's so fascinating, yeah. you know, and the crazy thing is that we look to it's one thing when these YouTubers like me are doing this stuff, but then when you look at these organizations that have millions of dollars, they literally have a staff of people to do research, call. I mean, who knows how many people are getting so much money to do the research and they can't even get it right. You know, at so it's kind of like, that's crazy. My son never worked in on a post route ever in his life. Wow. Wow. That's insane, man. That's, that's insane. Crazy. It's wow. crazy, dude. And that came from the other side of the family, too, so... Damn, yeah, Joe. it's like they just trying to. <laughs> it's like their stories are just so crazy because what is she hiding? What is right. she? What is Brittany hiding? Really? Did she set my son up? Do you believe so? Like, do you believe? I mean, it, I it believe, could be. It I could be. She, I believe she did. Like mm. in my heart, I really believe she had somebody grab my son. Like, because mm. she's vindictive and, and she uh, that type of person, bro. Like. Wow. She's not a good person at all. That's My crazy. son is the good person, like, and it always be like that, man. It'll be like people get their people get their information out to the world first, and then all of a sudden the world latches on their information right, instead right. of you know what I'm saying, of doing their research. Right. So it's like now it's like whoever gets the information out first is the one that's telling the truth. That's true. That is and true. And it's not that's not cool. You know what I'm saying? Right. My son is sitting in jail right now, devastated about his stepdaughter is missing. You know what I'm saying? Right. And and a mother, and somebody took him from him. You know what I'm saying? And if, and then his girl going and telling these crazy stories about him, like right. He loved he loved that family. Like he did everything to stay with the girl when we was trying to tell him no, she's not right. Mm. You know mm. what I'm saying? Yeah. And now he now he's suffering more and more. Like he had to suffer with the CPS name the first time. You know what I'm saying? They took the kids away. He was devastated about that. That's why he did everything in his power to get those kids back. He begged his mom to take those kids in. She wow. took those kids in. She lost her job because of those because she took the kids in and she had to uh be there with the kids all the time. Darion was the one going over to her house taking her money, you know what I'm saying, visiting the kids and stuff like that. Brittany was not doing none of that. Why didn't they ever, like, give this the kids, or at least Malaya or whatever, to um, the biological father? That was one of the big questions I he ever... He didn't want them. Wow. He didn't want them. Wow. Yeah, my something son, didn't seem right to me, man. That's crazy. Yeah. Because, they, like I said, they have previous history with CPS. Mm. That's one of the things she's hiding. Wow. When Darion came in the picture, those kids couldn't do nothing, like nothing. Like he didn't want to talk them how to talk and use the bathroom and stuff like that. Like mm. they were way behind. Oh yeah. Way behind. Yeah. Wow. And the thing is too, is like um let's say once this is all said and done, and let's say uh, you know, Let's say he, you know, he's the, let's say they find him not guilty, or something like that. Uh, his life is ruined too, you know. Like yeah. he's forever gonna have that uh, this whole thing on him, on his name and stuff, you know. Yeah, it's ruined. It's ruined, man. And then people don't look at that. You know what I'm saying? It's mm-hmm. just, it's real sad. You know what I'm saying? But the saddest part is that Malia is still missing, man. Yeah, that's yeah. the sad part. You yeah, know, yeah. she's still missing, bro. Yeah. And that area, I mean, from I was looking at the map and stuff, that place is, I mean, it's huge. It's so vast, all those areas, man. Like, 
to find somebody without like right. a tip that actually takes you to the area or somebody admitting or coming out it's just like how do you, right, like, like you I said, look at all of those kids that are missing man completely gone they can't find them gone right by the border you know what i'm saying they're in oh yeah that's another thing yeah, yeah. all of our kids are getting you know what i'm saying a lot of our kids are getting human traffic mm. we got we got in my city alone we have 226 kids missing. wow wow yeah that's crazy. 226 kids missing. Wow. Just in St. Louis, in St. Louis County alone. Wow. So we got to look at those facts, you know what I'm saying, and look into those things. Right. And I'm sure, yeah. too, there, there's a lot. Something, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We all know this. And I'm sure the, the cops, too, they probably know a lot more than we know. A lot of times they hold yeah. back information and stuff and. You know, so who knows what they know or what's going to happen. Mm-hmm. And it's been now, uh, I mean, I don't know, it's been like almost three weeks, two and a half weeks. I don't know how many, two, three weeks. It's been, it's been a minute, man. It's been ever since May 3rd. Yeah. May 3rd. Yeah, I, got reporter, the call. Yeah. I got the call. my son and uh, the kids were missing May 4th. They Was he on the run? run? Like that whole the little period or? Was he what? Like on the run? From the cops or whatever? From what? The cops or anything like that? Was he, like, hiding? No. Because they were saying... Why would he be hiding? I, I thought I heard at one point I heard Britney say, these people say they were trying to reach them and he couldn't reach... They couldn't reach him or something. I don't know if that was no, true. He was, he was at his brother's house. They okay. knew where Darion was at the whole time. Okay. The cops knew where he was at. Like I said, when Joe left to take his kids out of town and his wife because he feared for their safety... The cops thought Darion was trying to leave town. So they went right over to where he was at and locked him up. So he never was on no run. He never was okay. missing. Okay. He just didn't, you know what I'm saying? When he went out that first night to look for Malia, he got mobbed. And then oh, he yeah. didn't, he, yeah. And then he didn't understand. He didn't trust her or her baby father uh-huh. because they came to him real crazy, you know what I'm saying? With guns and all type oh, of stuff. Wow. So he, yeah, so he didn't want to be around him. You know what I'm saying? He didn't yeah. trust me. He was starting to listen to what we were saying about not trusting her. Mm. Yeah, so I can imagine was, if he's out on the streets or even at home and the story's going out and everybody knows about it, I mean, people are going to yeah, probably come after him. You know? Exactly. Exactly. So that was, that was another reason why he wasn't out with her searching. Like, okay. Like she was trying, well, like she was calling him at like 11, 12 o'clock at night trying to get him to come outside and talk to her baby daddy and that crazy Quinn, whoever that ex dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I never heard of him before. It was the first time. Like he didn't, he didn't trust that shit. I think, uh, I think he started to kind of, I mean, I don't know if he, I haven't saw the last interview, but I've I've heard that like maybe he's kind of dissing himself, or I don't know. I don't know if she's playing him too, Brittany or whatever, you know. So yeah, it's like he's trying to he he's just searching for fame. I yeah. guess he's one of those type of people, you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Right. He's the one throwing the allegations out. Brittany just uh, sit there and just shake her head, uh, hold her head, the time, down, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying, and don't say nothing. If you know that he's the one throwing the allegations out. Right, right. All right, man. Well, you know, I hope they find Malaya. I mean, I, you know, the fa- it doesn't look good, you know, to be gone this long. But also, too, I've heard of stories where people were taking, kids were taking, like, held in a basement for, like, months, years. I've heard of crazy stories like that. And then they find them, you know. So it doesn't look good, but it's also, it's not, like, completely, you know, who knows what could happen? It's not, it's not lost, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I'm not, I'm not giving up on her, you okay. know. I'm not giving up on her. Like I said, we have kids missing all over the country. Yeah. And sometimes they're found, you know, and it be the most crazy of circumstances. They they be found a month later. Sometimes they be found a year later. Sometimes right. it be five years. Like right, we had, right. we had a kid here who was missing for. 10 years he's missing for 10 years he got took yeah he got took from off his bike like 10 years and all of a sudden they find him in the next county over staying with some guy some guy had took him you know what i'm saying Uh yeah so it's like we can't give up hope you know i just want to get the word out about her 
I want people to look into her stories and her allegations about my son. And so she's a liar. Like what she's saying. Yeah, she's yeah. saying all of that, the molestation, all of that is a lie, man. Okay. How can he molest somebody? Like I said, how is he taking somebody from daycare when he's at work? Mm -hmm. He's worked nine to five every day. Right, right. It doesn't, it's not adding up, man. Right. It's not adding up. We all know her story's not adding up. Oh, yeah, for all. sure. For sure. The you thing is, we saying? haven't really heard. We haven't heard, uh, you know, um, Darian's uh, side of the story. Yeah. You're, you're definitely give a lot more context to the things that are going on, and even with your context, you know, we still haven't heard his side. We've only heard what the news organizations are telling us, and they were telling us he's changed his story a bunch of times. But we have nothing to go off of that. We just have the, the, or, the media outlets to go off of that. So we don't know. We haven't heard, you know. And when right. I saw, and, you know, they go, they live for sensation. Right, right, right. And I saw Joe went to go visit Darren, and, you know, he says he's innocent, too, that he feels his brother's innocent. And uh, I think he mentioned, like, he does have a story, like, there is a whole thing or whatever that yeah. is. So, you know, we'll have to, I guess, wait and see. You know, really, I, I, he's probably going to just, that's going to be for court, I guess. I don't even know that he's going to, it's not like he's going to do a press release, I assume, so. Right, right. So, but, man, thank you. I really appreciate you coming on. That gave, I learned a lot. You know, it helped give a little bit of context because it's it's been so confusing. It's just so been yeah. like, misleading. And we definitely, regardless of who's right, who's wrong, we need to hear both sides. That's how you're supposed to come to some sort of conclusion. You can't just hear one side and then that's it. We just go off of that. You know, right, because so. there's too many people sitting in jail right now who are innocent, man. Yeah, yeah. I've even heard with DNA that people yeah. have lied about DNA. People at the labs have mixed things up or make accidents or mistakes or, like, people working with other people in these labs. And, like, I've heard even DNA evidence to be wrong and they had to retest it again just to find out that it wasn't exactly. what it was, you know? So it's crazy. Exactly. So thank you, Joe. I really appreciate you coming on, man. Um, and I'll probably upload this today because everybody's been wanting to see his side. And a lot of people are saying, like, what you're saying, what I'm saying, the mother story definitely doesn't add up. So It's not adding up, man, yeah. at all, bro. Like, and, and a lot of those, a lot of that stuff that they're saying about him is not real. Like, don't believe everything you hear about a person through the media. It's not real. Okay. Like, he would, ne he would never hurt a child at all, man. The man doesn't have a, 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 no type of bone in his body that will, he would do something like that. You know, right. he doesn't have a violent bone in his body. Okay. He doesn't have he doesn't have no history of violence, or or nothing like that. Okay. All right, man. Thank so, you, man. Appreciate it. All right. All I'll right. keep in touch. I'll keep you updated. I see potential subscribers. Subscribe for more. This is the motherfucking war.